John Muir once said, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. It is a simple concept, but to understand it and experience a connection to the universe, you have to go there, away from the man-made and the superficial, leaving behind the instant gratification of technology, the hum and buzz of industrial society and the trappings of celebrity culture into a new type of awareness and connection that is becoming all too rare in our world. Okay. This is the story of a short canoe trip into the wilderness of Nova Scotia, Canada. A canoe trip down a wild river to seek that connection to the universe for just a short time. In a canoe, I feel clarity and an ever-present life force of the present moment with each stroke of the paddle. If the human genius was ever expressed completely, it was through the canoe, a craft so simple and elegant, yet when we paddle a canoe, we are transported to the present moment and a unique connection is formed with the land that flows by. There is something honest about wilderness travel. We are forced to rely on our own depth of knowledge and understanding of a place we are in. Those familiar with the woods and lakes know that a deliberate slowness comes to us naturally. Each decision made with forethought, yet being in wild nature contains a beauty of experience that I have tried to express through my art for many years. I have come to this place with my daughter to find our place amongst the ebb and flow of this river. It is remote enough that silence seeps in, draining away the overstimulation of modern life. The river is high, flowing well for late summer, and we make quick time, crossing lakes to arrive at our campsite late afternoon. Yeah. 
I have come here to both paint and record the sounds of this wild place, wanting to capture the essence of what draws many of us to the wilderness. It is a question I have spent years exploring through art. Back in the studio, I usually work small sketches into larger canvases, recalling from memory my experiences there. Good morning, it's um, 4 a.m. Uh, there's some beautiful moths around here, uh, as you can see, and uh, pretty soon um, twilight's going to start to appear over um, in the eastern horizon there, so I'm up and uh, just kind of getting ready to uh, head out with the recording gear and uh, just experience twilight. What a fantastic moth that is. It's huge. So this is where the, kind of a lot of the, the work happens when we're recording is uh, we're up really early um, just ready to catch those first uh, bird song um, in the morning. Uh, right now we have a nice frog chorus um, with minky frogs and some uh, green frogs out there. Um, as you can see the bugs are quite something. Well, the morning chorus has begun in earnest and about 20 minutes ago, I took an almost dark canoe trip across the river to uh, a huge savanna where there's uh, savanna sparrows and fox sparrows calling. And I have my recording gear set up over there. So um, I wanted to record in this place for probably uh, three years now. Um, so I'm really quite excited about uh, what will happen this morning. And like, fingers crossed, we get a, a decent recording. So now I'm um, probably going to get some coffee on and uh, maybe think about doing some painting shortly. <coughs> when working on location, I love to make short trips, canoeing away from the campsite to explore and search for areas where I might capture the soundscape or find a place that needs to be painted.
The sounds of these places are unique, having evolved over thousands of years. It is as if we step back in time when we listen. I pay special attention to placing the microphones, seeking out the sweet spot that evokes the essence of a place. Painting on location, in the wilderness, amongst the black flies, is a lesson in perseverance. I love to capture the bare bones of these places, the initial reaction, an impression, taking ideas from the surrounding landscape to pull them together into the work, which leaves the viewer with something that comes out of the wilderness, through the brush. I paint to raise awareness, to show the way into a world of quiet calm and connection, and ultimately to challenge the viewer to seek it for themselves, through awakening to the possibilities of joining the movement for change. Mm -hmm. 